In this video, I'm going to show you how to redesign these Kanban style cards into something like this. So the uh, image gets smaller and moved up into the left corner. This uh, second line here gets brought down and made full a full line there. And then this little notification badge gets moved up to the top right corner. And by the end, it looks like this. So why would you want to do this? Well, uh, no code gives you the power to build pretty awesome apps and websites without coding. But one of the trade-offs with being able to do this stuff quickly and without code is you don't necessarily always have uh, the ability to get things pixel perfect when it comes to designing things. But luckily, a lot of these platforms allow you to customize things with CSS. And uh, that is what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to help you delve into the world of CSS and show you how I redesigned this card using a little bit of CSS inside of Glide. So yes, we will be delving into the low code space of no code because uh, CSS is a styling script and I'll show you what that looks like right now. See over here to add that styling, all I had to do was apply this CSS class. A class inside of CSS is just a label that you put on something so you can reference it later inside of the script. So here I've applied this pretty Kanban class and I'm gonna go over to my CSS settings inside of Glide. And down at the very bottom here, you can see I have a pretty Kanban right here in three different places. And we'll dive into what each of these things do here in just a second. So if you're following along, the first thing you want to do is make sure that the platform you're using supports CSS. So go look at the documentation for that. And once you know it does, uh, then this is basically how you do that. If you didn't know, everything on a website basically has three different things, HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And you can access all of this code behind the scenes by right clicking and going to inspect, or in some places it's called your developer tools. And what this is gonna do is bring up a big window that looks like this. I'm actually gonna stick this, yeah, right here. So I'm gonna pin this to the bottom of the screen. So once you find these developer tools, what you're gonna do is go to the elements place inside of Chrome, that's what it's called here. And then you click on this little selector icon here and this selector allows you to select something on the screen and then it will bring you to the code down here in the bottom where that's at. I wanna search for that class that I added to my component. So I can do that. I'm just gonna control F and search for pretty dash Kanban. You can see that's applied there. That's my actual CSS code. If I go down, I can see it's been added right here. So this is the uh, master uh, container that this class has been added to. And so what we, we wanna do is drill down to the specific card within this container, within this div statement to actually apply the changes. So I'm gonna go ahead and comment out uh, this CSS that I have here, and we're, we're gonna add these uh, this code back in one by one. And if you don't know anything about CSS, I'm going to share a course down in the uh, description that's completely free, it teaches you everything you need to know about CSS in 30 days. All right, so we've added our class to our component. We've found that component inside the dev tools here. And then now we wanna edit a specific card inside of that. So I'll grab my handy selector tool and let me pick a card. And what we're looking for here is a distinct class that's specific to that element that we can use to kind of drill down. What you don't want to use are these like generated code things here because those sometimes will update if the platform changes how they do things. But here I can see that they labeled this collection item and that seems like a pretty standard thing and something that's likely not going to change. And so the first update that I made is you can see here, I've called out pretty Kanban. That's the first class. And then I'm doing inside of pretty Kanban, anything labeled as collection item, I want to apply these changes to. So inside of CSS to uh, call out, basically the way it works is you call out a class or you call out something, you, it's actually called a selector. You can select all types of things. You can select uh, classes, you can select things called IDs, you can select elements, you can select like the fifth thing on the page, you can do all kinds of stuff. And the dot here represents, it tells it, okay, I'm looking for a class named Pretty Kanban. And then if I do another class after that, it says I'm looking for another class, I'm looking for the collection item within Pretty Kanban, and then I wanna apply these settings. 
Now, I'm not going to go into all the details of uh, <laughs> CSS because there are a lot, but your friendly neighborhood chat GPT could probably help you out, um, do some Googling, and uh, I'll even show you um, a way to kind of grab this code and ask questions about it here in a second. So now we're down to the card level at collection item. And the first thing I did was uh, change this to display block and I changed the padding. What these two settings do, first we have display block. What that does is resets everything inside of that back to its default state. Block is the default CSS state. And then padding will just remove some of this padding around. So if I uh, remove this comment here, move that down, we'll see that we now have three blocks here. One, two, three. We can see that with our selector here. One, two, and then three. And then the padding was uh, shrunk all the way around. It was at 16 pixels, now it's at 12 pixels. So that just kind of takes up more space on the card. All right, this next one, we're still using, we're still looking at that collection item, but now I'm specifically, you'll see here, I'm doing the greater than sign. What this does is it says, I want to look specifically at the image element inside of collection item. So if we pull out our selector and go back to our code here, uh, you'll see there's this image item. And what I wanna do is make this a little bit smaller and also make it a circle and change its sizing. And that's what I do here. So border radius, this is what will make, give it a circle all the way around. So if your border radius is like 10%, then you'll just have kind of rounded corners. And if you do 100%, it's like a full circle. And then I'm changing the height and the width. This will make it a little bit smaller. And then I'm adding some margin on the bottom. So margin is the space outside of the element. So I'm just adding a little bit of space between that image and the title here. And then I'll just have one more selection here to get our nice new pretty cards in place. And uh, this is going to move this message notification up to the top right here. And the way I'm doing that is uh, using this thing called position absolute. And the way I actually came up with this is if we go to the card, remember I told you I would show you how to copy this. If you right click on an element and say edit as HTML, this is the entire card right here. And so you can copy that code and paste this into an AI. My favorite AI is called finds.com. And you can say, you know, how to move the envelope to the top right of this card with CSS. And I'll just paste that code. And you can see right here, it's saying, okay, you need to use absolute positioning and then you can use the top and the right elements right here. And so all I did was I copied this and you can use the index too. Let me just copy all of this. And I pasted those settings in here. And if I remove that comment, You can see that it's now moved to the top right, very top right. And then all I needed to do to offset it a little bit from the card was add in that padding that we have. So I'll just put back in the top 12 pixels and right 12 pixels. And that's gonna move it over to that top right position. And then Z index just says, float it above anything else on the card. So it's gonna show up above everything. So we put all that together, and if we remove this class, then you can see here the original, and then now if we add it back in, you can see the new design. All right, there you go. That is how to edit your no-code app with CSS.